Hey there, fellow seekers of eternal youth. Today we're diving into the fountain of youth with none other than the legendary Dr. David Sinclair. Dr. Sinclair is like the Batman of the anti-aging world, fighting wrinkles and grey hairs with science. So what are the five top tips to staying forever young, Doc? 1. Intermittent fasting. Eat less and less often. Unleash the power of intermittent fasting. Skip breakfast and become a breakfast skipper superhero, activating your body's repair mechanisms while keeping hunger at bay. Sinclair often advocates for intermittent fasting as a means to activate cellular repair mechanisms and promote longevity. This dietary approach involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting, which has been shown to improve metabolic health and potentially extend lifespan. If you are not starving at breakfast and you prefer dinner, skip breakfast. And if you can do without dinner, skip dinner. But skip one of those two because then you have a whole period of sleep that uh, means you're fasting and your body will protect itself and repair itself better. Now you can take it one step further if you're game. Uh, and that's what I did over the last um, 18 months during the pandemic was to also, as best I can, skip lunch as well. So I go all day without eating with a tiny little bit of yogurt in the morning to dissolve a supplement. But essentially I'm just, uh, here I'm holding a glass of water, I'll have tea, I'll have coffee, that'll keep me full. Um, and I go till dinner and at dinner I have a, a reasonable meal. I'll go out to a restaurant and I'll eat something and try not to be full, I don't stuff myself because I'll actually sleep poorly. To exercise regularly, next embark on epic quests of exercise. Whether you're lifting weights or running marathons, channel your inner superhero and flex those muscles. Regular physical activity is essential for maintaining overall health and vitality as we age. Sinclair emphasizes the importance of both aerobic exercise, such as walking or jogging, and resistance training to promote muscle strength and cardiovascular health. Three, healthy diet. Feast upon the nectar of the gods, a balanced diet of fruits, veggies, and lean proteins. Embrace your inner culinary superhero and cook up a storm in the kitchen. Um, and then so a typical dinner would be, um, well, plant-based meals that, that taste just or even better than what I used to eat. And I don't feel like I'm lacking anything. And you might ask, well, why would you do that? Well, there's a lot of science behind it. The protein that's in plants is actually has a ratio of amino acids that stimulates these longevity genes, the sirtuins, and another one called mTOR. And if you always eat meat every meal, your body's just not fighting aging the way it could if you ate more plants. Consuming a balanced diet rich in whole foods, fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins is crucial for supporting cellular function and reducing the risk of age-related diseases. Sinclair often recommends minimizing processed foods, sugar, and excessive calorie intake to support metabolic health. If you're talking about cane sugar, sucrose, uh, I would try to limit that as much as possible, unfortunately. Uh, I gave up eating desserts in my 40s, though I do steal it from people at the table, so Serena orders the desserts for me. Uh, but really, sugar is something that is known to be toxic in the long run. It's sucrose, which forms glucose, will attach to your your body's components, your proteins will become what's called glycated, and that's known to drive aging as well. So that's why we try to not eat too much and so we don't want to eat a lot of sugar. Four, NAD plus supplementation. Harness the mystical powers of NAD plus. Restore your cellular energy like a magical potion and watch as your cells dance with vitality. Sinclair's research focuses on the role of nicotinamide, adenine dinucleotide, NAD plus, in cellular health and aging. NAD plus levels decline with age and supplementation with NAD plus precursors like nicotinamide riboside, NR, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, NMN, may help maintain cellular function and promote longevity. Nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, NAD plus, is a naturally occurring coenzyme found in all living cells, and its supplementation is available in various forms such as nicotinamide riboside, NR, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, NMN. These supplements are generally regarded as safe and are widely available for purchase over the counter or online. However, it's essential to note that its efficacy and potential long-term effects are still being researched. 
As with any supplement or health intervention, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional before starting NAD plus supplementation, especially if you have any underlying medical conditions or are taking other medications. NAD is required for life. It's involved in chemical reactions, but it's also used as a sensor for the body of adversity. When we have no adversity, we're eating a lot and sitting around, NAD levels go down. That's true as we get older as well. So a 50 year old has half the levels of a 20 year old for NAD. Um, and uh, what we like to do is to boost the levels of NAD back up to youthful levels and mimic exercise, mimic dieting, or even enhance those modalities. Now we've even got um, human clinical trial data. I was mentioning one of my companies has done clinical trials already for the last few years. And by raising NAD levels, we can actually improve human health. And we hope that this will be a drug one day to treat diseases ranging from kidney failure to even COVID-19 uh, survival. Five, stress management. Finally, conquer the demons of stress with mindfulness and meditation. Find your inner Zen warrior and banish stress to the shadow realm. Chronic stress can accelerate aging and increase the risk of age-related diseases. Sinclair emphasizes the importance of stress management techniques, such as meditation, mindfulness, and relaxation exercises to promote emotional well-being and resilience in the face of life's challenges. So emotional well-being relating to longevity. Yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, it's really important because the, there's a certain amount of stress that's mental stress that's good for you. Um, keeping you on edge, having a purpose in life, being excited, that's all good. But you can overdo it and have anxiety. A lot of people do, especially having come through this pande pandemic. That'll release cortisol, among other inflammatory stimulators, uh, which will accelerate aging. There's really no question that a, an animal that's stressed lives shorter. Um, if anyone who's kept uh, fish in an aquarium can see that the stressed out fish that get picked on not only are smaller and have less color, but they don't live as long either. So you don't want to be that fish. Um, and so what I've done to use myself as an example is work very hard to overcome my anxiety. I am naturally anxious. I'm an overachiever. I worry about every mistake that I make, even a misspelled word on an email. But I've had to realize that life isn't that serious. You know, a serious day is when you see one of your family members die in front of you, and that happened to me. Everything else, it's a good day. You know, if you wake up in the morning, your heart is beating, uh, you've got friends, you've got your health, it's, it's a good day no matter what. So there you have it, my dear longevity enthusiasts. Dr. David Sinclair's five tips for defying aging and unlocking your inner superhero. These tips reflect Sinclair's holistic approach to aging, focusing on lifestyle factors such as diet, exercise and stress management, as well as emerging interventions based on scientific research into cellular aging mechanisms. However, it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your lifestyle or starting any new supplements. Now go forth and conquer my fellow immortals. Until next time, stay young at heart and keep on questing for the elixir of eternal youth. Subscribe for more epic adventures in aging gracefully.